Friday. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday, y'all. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. It's Friday. Good morning. How y'all doing? Y'all know I'm so happy it's Friday. Y'all already know. <laughs> Ooh, it's 7.30 a.m., you guys. And I just put in a request um, to let, I just let them know that I'm going to be starting late today. Um, I put, let them know that I'll start at 10. Reason being, uh, we had got a notice that they needed to come in. Um, because there was a lot of water usage or something, and so I guess they needed to make sure they need to check to make sure that there's no leaks. So it said I think between something and eight, and if I remember, I just remember eight a.m. And so I need to look at that letter again and make sure they don't need it until eight p.m. Cause man. I don't want to be trying to work and doorbells and ringing and knocking and all of that. Oh wow, they put between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. That is the stupidest, freaking inconvenientest thing ever. Wow, y'all. It pays to read. It pays to read. It pays to read. And it pays to pay attention. Uh, <laughs> I hope they come this morning, but nine times out of ten, they won't. That's why I did that. Something told me to hold on. That's why I did it because I was like, if it said by eight, they probably will be late. I just hope they come <laughs> in between those times. I should just put a note on the worker from home. Please text. Well, actually, my son should be here by, by then, hopefully, so I'll have him listen out. Anyway, guys. Which is what I should have done in the first place. So, I'll give it to TM. Hopefully they'll be here in between then and now and then. And if not, you and I have to deal with it from that point. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I'm just so glad it's Friday. I really am. I'm tired. <laughs> I say that a lot. Y'all probably tired of hearing me say I'm tired, but... Yesterday was so quiet, kind of. It was so slow. Like, I really honestly, truly could not understand or believe why they did not um, just offer VTO. Like, I, I didn't understand that. I'm not complaining. Mm -mm, by no means, I'm not complaining. Um, it would be nice if they offered it today. Um, but. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a note on the door. So if they get here between, I 
I leave it. <laughs> I leave it. I'm just gonna leave her because. Oh. I'm thinking if I should just put a note on the door that if because I'm working just text me when you're at the door that is what I should do I think I will so I'm going to talk to you guys until about uh, 8 o'clock, right? If they don't come, you know, by 8.30, then by 8.10, because that's when I'm going to go and get ready to log in. So if they don't get here by then, I'll just hang a little note on the door. I'll hang their note on, on the door with, with uh, a note attached to it saying, uh, just text when you're at the door, door due to me working from home. That's what I do so that they know that I am here um, you know that's what I do if Jeremiah's not here by the end yeah. anyway I got my coffee today don't remember if I said that I hope you guys slept well I hope you said your prayers today this morning um I slept pretty good. I didn't have any strange dreams or anything like that. Um, I did not go donate yesterday. I just was not feeling it. I just don't feel like it. I honestly don't feel like going today, but I do have to go today. So I will um, because I don't want to do anything like that on my weekends anymore. So definitely when I get off work, I will go today. A um, couple of things I have to do today, actually. Uh, I have to pay uh, two bills. I have to pay a lot of bills, but <laughs> um, two of them, you know, I really have to get done today. Um, I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping, like actual food shopping. Like we have pl plenty of rice, I think, uh, mashed potato stuff. Um, I need to get actual meats, right, to cook dinner like we have a pack of chicken legs in there um there's some chicken thighs i have on thawing um to cook probably later on tonight um uh, or maybe even on my um lunch break i'm not sure but they will get done cooked um i don't know y'all uh i need to get some meats i need to get some meats Maybe one loaf of bread. And I think that's it, to be honest with you. I'll probably get ground beef to make tacos, which means I'll probably have to get more taco shells and cheese. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's like... We, you constantly buy the same things over and over to the point you just, you know, if I was by myself, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. I, I wouldn't have to go grocery shopping at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all we need to get is some meats. Everything else I believe we have. We have side dishes. I just need meats to make certain meals. Like like I said, ground beef for tacos and maybe for spaghetti. Um, which means I would have to get some spaghetti sauce because I have the noodles. Um, I still need to get some sugar. Um, and I don't use a lot of sugar every day, so I would really only need the, like, the small box. And lately, when I've been going to the dollar store, they don't have it. They've been having the powdered sugar. So I just need one little, you know, box, little small box. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. I'll think about it throughout the day and just <sighs> oh, get an idea. Oh, I just feel like stretching like they cooled. I got this fan going. It's a little chilly right now. I should turn it off. 
Probably don't need the air conditioner on either. Okay. Ugh. I turned the air and the fan off. Okay. Lord, it's me again. It's me again. Uh, let's get my read on. Let's see. You know what I do with my day? Actual reading glasses. Because this don't bring the word to my face. So last time I read Tears to, Tears to Joy. Today is the 21st. And I'm going to read... Unconditional acceptance. Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Accept one another. God accept us every day. Man. If she gossiped less, if he shared his feelings more, it's easy, isn't it? To list the ways other people could change for the better. We know we are called to live in harmony with one another, but our others can but our others can really make it difficult. But we need to accept one another as Christ accepts us. Hmm. Jesus takes us as we are, broken, imperfect, sinful. If this is how the Savior welcomes w welcomes us, who are we to put conditions on our acceptance of anyone else? Lord, thank you for accepting me just as I am. You see past my many flaws and you love me for me. Help me to see others as you see as you see them and to glory glorify you. Through unconditional acceptance. Amen. Amen. Help me to see others as you do. <laughs> you know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the difference? The world. It's just a little. Y'all hear it all the time. People say. Can you imagine if you just be a little bit kinder? Can you imagine this? Can you imagine that? But really. Can you? Can you? Can you really imagine it? Like. It would be so so amazing it would just be so amazing um I'm trying to see what this out this window I'm seeing this long pole it must be on top of somebody's roof or something I'm like we ain't that close we're not close to downtown at all I shouldn't be able to look out my window and see nothing tall other than the uh, street oh that's probably what it is the street poles <laughs> the I didn't think about that. Oh. <clears throat> Prayers and promises for depression and anxiety. So the last time we read about grace. So today, grief. Let's see if I can read these because this word is a little smaller. Those who sow in tears shall reap. Okay, I read that. Correction. I read that yesterday. Let's see guidance. All right, today is guidance. I apologize. Yep, that's brief. Guidance. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. 
and my hope is in you all day long. Wise people can also listen and learn. Even they can find good advice in these words. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Mm. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are, are children of God. Good Father, I trust that you are leading my steps. You know how much I depend on your guidance. All my hopes are in you. Even when my plans crumble and there is a detour in my path, I trust that you have better plans than I do. You see the full picture. There are no mysteries to you. I trust that your ways are higher than my ways. And your plans are better than the ones I pursue for myself. I yield to your leadership in my life and shrug off the worries of the unknown. You are a good and faithful leader. Is there anything God can help guide you in today? Oh, by, by all means, there is. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of things that I need God to guide me in today. Not just today, but every day. For sure. Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, I was just sitting here thinking too. You know, today is the 21st. And they're starting this thing from the 21st through, well, I think it was the 20th. No, the 21st until the 30th or 31st of July, which I think is so stupid. Um, we cannot park. Right? Um, yeah, or it will be told. So that's today's the f t from 7 in the morning, I think it is, until 4 p.m. That That's so stupid for people that are home, working from home. Where are they supposed to put their cars? I thought it was just for one day. Um, but then when I saw the sign still up, yesterday when I went out, I, I looked at the sign a little bit closer. I'm like, these mugs got on here until the 31st. What kind of BS is that? You know what I'm saying? Like... People live, like, I just, I don't get it. Y'all, I just, I don't get it. I, I really do not. There's so many things about the city that I just don't like. I just do not care for whatsoever. Like, it's, it's I feel like it's designed to put you in a chokehold. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Like, stop and think. There are some people that are working from home. Remember freaking COVID? There are people who work from home that do not live in houses that live in apartments so if we're living in an apartment and there's no designated you know parking lot or anything like that we're parking on the street why would you make it where we can't park and why would you do it on all the streets like that's so freaking stupid I, I don't understand. You know, or you could be told, like, what the F? Jeremiah's car can't even move. So it's like, so where, where, where are he supposed to put his car? You know what I'm saying? Like, who does this? This this is... Y'all, it's so frustrating. I cannot, I cannot begin to tell you how frustrating this is. I cannot. I mean, yes, I'm glad it's from... A.M. to, you know, I'm glad it's only until 4 p.m., but so that means you got to keep looking and checking on your car to make sure it's not being towed between 7 and 4. That's effed up. That's, that's effed up. That's way messed up. That's so messed up, y'all. So messed up, and it's crazy because well, it's not crazy. I said it all the time, but it's other. Uh, whoop. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one because every time you look out the window, somebody's car is parked out there when they say that when they put all that 
Go park up this time. Go park at that time. Stuff out there because you look at Chapo in the sink. You in the sink, dude. This is what he do does, y'all. He automatically goes and get in the sink because when I start working, when all the doors are shut and he can't come in. That's what he does. I guess he said, screw it. Because I was putting him in the bathroom. And I was only putting him in the bathroom because, you know, he, he scratched nut the doors and things. So I put him in the bathroom. I didn't know he was going to go get in the seat. <laughs> Uh, I had to shut the windows because As much as I love, enjoy, and need the air, I can't hear. So I'm trying to work with the windows open. All you hear is people, noise, cars, traffic. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up with some things. And I will talk to you guys later. Please enjoy your Friday morning. If I don't talk to you later today, I will talk to you tomorrow. Be the Lord's will. Bye, guys.